So you've got six inboard options on this boat from 350 horsepower to 430 horsepower and multiple different drive options. I do believe the inboards are going to appeal to many of you and I'll touch on that in a sec. The outboard options are the Mercury V10s, the new ones, that's a twin setup uh, with the 350s or the 400s. This boat, uh, we have a 700 litre fuel capacity. We're running about 64% at the moment right now. We have the 350 horsepowers. Um, I'm just gonna get the boat up and moving. She's about 6.3 tonne light. So add the fuel and people, you're gonna be pushing a bit of weight and you're gonna notice it. If you've driven the 28 Corsair or a smaller Chris Craft, you're really in big boat stuff on this one. So let's get up and moving. So what I do, drives down obviously, just really give the boat some revs. I'm at 4,400, 4,500 just there, and let the boat just get up and moving. Once you feel her on the plane, trim it out a little bit. I'm sitting at 25 knots there, and just let the boat get up and boogie. Because of her size um, and displacement, it's she, the hull does a lot of that trimming for you, so it's a, it's a very smooth process getting up and the transition onto the plane. So why are a lot of you guys gonna be going for the stern drives? Because you hear me talk about outboards a lot of the time. Well, it's just bloody gorgeous. It's really absolutely gorgeous. As a boy, you were probably dreaming of a boat that looked just like this. Um, so I believe that's where many people are coming from when they still are attracted to something like this. And let's face it, here in an environment like Majorca, you're only gonna boat in the summer and you're probably gonna winterize your boat through the off season. So the boat's gonna be out of the water in the winter. So in climates like this, and many other places where you have winterizing facilities or you winterize your boats, it makes sense. It makes sense because the boat's not gonna be sitting in salt water all the time. Whereas in Sydney, and I know a lot of my mates who write to me in Florida, we have a different climate. We boat 12 months of the year. So our boards do make sense and Chris Craft can still facilitate, facilitate that for you. Anyway, let's talk about the performance. I'm sitting on 4,800, 4,900 revs just there, giving me a cruising speed of 28 knots. I'm just gonna run with that for a little bit because that feels good. Very comfortable. The wash is going out to the sides. We are in quite flat water, so I can't demonstrate too much in terms of the wave action. My wind, the wind is about here and out to here, so anyone sitting on this seat is gonna be comfortable. I'll put that bolster down right now. You know, you just cannot fault Chris Craft for their quality of the fixtures, fittings, upholstery. Look at this, how cool does this feel? Let's give it some more. This is a sexy driving position, and it's a hell of a lot of fun. And this is what you should be doing on a Chris Craft. So I'm doing that turn, 29 knots, 5,200 revs. That's giving us a consumption of 98 litres per hour. And I'll just bring the speed back a little bit. Okay, now I'm coming back to 29 and 28 knots. And that's giving me a consumption of 74 litres per hour. So that just gives you a feel for the differences there. Now I'm gonna just gun it, and I might just run these rocks for a little bit because that's gonna look really cool on the drone. I'm not gonna go full speed just yet. So we've got Sea Keeper stabilization on this one. It's a new system. I'm not really gonna talk about it because I don't know. Is it that gap or the next one? The next one. I'll make sure I get the right gap. <laughs> That'd be embarrassing. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I'll have to talk to you in more detail about this new Sea Keeper system on another video because I don't know. Um, we do have the joystick parking, which we'll demonstrate later in the video. And we'll run this gap just here. I'll just take the middle. Okay, coming through at 28 knots. 87 litres consumption. The boat's level and comfortable. And now I'm just transitioning to the flip-up bolster in the standing position. Really, really easy. 
and now I'm going to increase my speed. Trimming the drives up a little bit there. Oh, look at this beautiful water. Okay, that's wide open throttle. Giving the drives a little trim. Speed's coming through 30 knots. Consumption is sitting at, well, I haven't got an accurate reading, so I can't tell you. 5,400 revs, 5,450, 5,500 revs, 5,550. So I think you're gonna see about a max speed of about 31 knots with these motors. My consumption's just giving me a funny reading, so I can't give you an accurate number. Let's just assume it's over the 100 litres. And that's where, for you speed demons, if you want that 30 plus knots, because we're sitting on an average of 30 just here, you really are going to have to go for the 430s and get yourself the bigger horsepower. Now let's just back that speed off and put the boat into a turn and see how she feels. So. Just a gradual turn there. This roof really is fantastic, guys. I think even though it's about a $60,000 option, uh, definitely for anyone in Australia, this is retaining the sexy looks of this boat, but it's giving me a lot of protection. And what am I noting right now? As I go through some of this little bit of chop, the wind's starting to build, so the bow is getting a bit of movement on it. This thing's solid. It's really, really solid. It's giving us the protection we want from the wind, uh, sorry, from the sun, and it's still retaining the looks. And we'll go through our boat wash in a second, and I'll just observe how the thing rattles, if it rattles at all. I'm maintaining that at a 25 knot speed. Gonna hit our waves in a second. Very smooth. Okay, gonna go into the waves in about three, two, and one. Feel it now. Wow. That's been built really well. That's excellent. And let's just give it one last run up here. So, if you're running with guests all the way along these seats, you're gonna have four people here, no problems. Everyone's gonna be protected. You're gonna feel good because these wind vortices are going around us. You've got so much space in the back of the boat for everyone to enjoy themselves along the way. They're obviously going to be in the wind, but they are going to be protected uh, from the sun. We'll go into that in more detail in the walkthrough video. But this is just cool, guys. This is what you would expect of a modern classic Chris Craft. You know, if you're someone who likes that Reva style, using a European comparison, this is the American version of that. Um, we don't really have anything in Australia that builds to this style, hence why Chris Craft is absolutely number one to give you these looks. So joystick through stern drives, uh, it's very simple. The location of the joystick on this particular one is just forward of the throttles uh, within easy reach for your right hand. Press docking, you have high mode, low mode. We have a station hold as well. And I might add that the bow thruster is just to the starboard side of the joystick. Um, so from a sitting position, you can operate it and I'll just give it, I'm in low mode right now. Um, you can just give it some and you know what? This responds very well. So for a heavier boat, because what, what I was uh, trying to discover is some of these lighter boats with joystick and through stern drives, they're not that great because the, um, the light weight of the boat causes it to act in a weird manner, which could be uh, awkward if you're not used to it. But with this heavier boat, a low center of gravity, this feels very direct and controllable. So if you're not used to this system, I think you're gonna be okay on this style. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, knowing that I can obviously increase the power if I wanted to, let's just try it from a standing position. Yeah, so that's fine. You've got enough space to move here. And also if you wanted to spin around and use it with your other hand, not a problem. That's, that really is gonna be a advantage to someone who hasn't parked the boat before and want um, the utilization of a joystick. Cool, easy peasy. So if you like what you see guys, keep watching and I will link to the walkthrough video right now.